Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of our EBO Resto Mod um, series of videos. Today we are going to um, remove the neck from the body. Now that's kind of a big uh, <laughs> that's kind of a big jump from just strip all the paint off and go for it. But what's happening is we've got so much cracking in the neck area and we've got a great big crack here that you might remember from the original video. And since we're going to have to plug all this stuff up anyway, we thought, well, it would be a whole lot easier to run this through the thickness sander once everything is plugged. And um, so it just makes sense to go ahead and remove the neck. So um, in this video, we are going to uh, show you how we do that. And the first thing we're going to do is take a little razor blade and kind of trim around uh, all the paint that is um, probably the only thing holding this neck on right now. Um, and then we're going to heat the neck up and pop it off and it's going to be as simple as that. So let's get started. So fortunately this was painted with nitrocellulose so it's mostly mostly gone anyway. All right that should do it. Yeah so this is this is actually propped up on my little neck rest here and when I just press on it just a little bit it's it's really moving. This isn't going to take too much heat at all. Um, but let's try it. Oh, one thing I forgot to tell y'all, since there's a crack that goes right here and we don't want this chunk of wood to necessarily come off attached to the neck, we're going to uh, try and hedge our bets by clamping it to itself. Oh man, I need a little more, a little more height here. So we've removed the paint from the seam and we've got everything clamped up. Now we're going to attack this with the heat gun. And as you can see here, I've got, I've got kind of a lever and what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna heat this up real slow and try to melt that glue and I'm just gonna press right in the, on the body and it's just gonna come right off if everything goes the way I want it to go. And when Max sees this, he's gonna flip out. All right, it's ready to come out, but this chip here is the only thing holding holding the neck in. And we got a little more right there that needs to... All right, that should do it. There it goes. Okay, well there you go. <laughs> See, it's got these dowels in here too that are helping to hold the neck in because there's so little neck joint. What we'll do is we'll actually end up removing this piece from the neck and reattaching it to the, uh, to the body. Okay, so that is what we did on this one. Now, if you're gonna save the finish, this is not the way to do it. So for all those guys who are gonna go, hey, you should have used steam and removed the frets and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you should have, but because this is getting an all new paint job anyway, it's not that big of a deal. Um, the only thing that was holding this neck on <laughs> was this piece of the body. Um, and when we had it clamped in, it, uh, it was not giving up. So we're going to have to remove this chunk here from the neck and then we can, um, we can glue it back in the body and everything will be, will be super cool. So, it looks like we're gonna have to remove a bunch of this crud that's in here too to uh, 
to get the neck to be to be uh, to go back in there like it's supposed to go in. Is there even ever any glue right there? Doesn't sure doesn't look like it, yeah. does it? Uh -uh. Yeah, there was a little, a little bit. bit, yeah, but not much. is off as you can see and the we glued the piece that didn't want to come off uh, back onto the body now remember because this is getting all new paint and a bunch more work we were able to do some stuff and cut some corners that I would not recommend you do if you're gonna to try to save the original finish or try to save the collector value of this instrument so again do not mistake what we are doing in this video for how you would do every single one. But these clamps have been on for a little while. We're gonna go ahead and pull them off now. So let's do that. Um, we had uh, um, this chunk that was attached to the, or that didn't wanna give up the, the goods. We had to glue back onto the body in two pieces. And it looks pretty awesome. Now, and I bet you that the neck will basically just sort of slide in. Yeah, I don't want to I don't want to put this under any undue stress, but as you can see, this will just pop right back in, and we've got a lot more work to do to um to get this guy where it needs to be. So, let's go ahead and wrap this up. Um so we've yanked the neck and uh that's going to make everything so much easier because now we can fill this whole chunk here and run it through the thickness sander and smooth everything out. I was talking with Chris and we think that it would be the really hot setup would be to um, uh, go ahead and put a veneer on top of this. Now it's going to get paint, but what happens is sometimes that when you when you get this chunk of wood here, the even if you use the polyester sealer and modern paints, it's going to sink in there and you're going to be able to tell that there's a there's a filler block there and we don't want to see that. So I think what's probably going to happen is we're going to go ahead and in the next video hog a big hunk of this out, fill it back in, um, plug all these holes and uh, grind this down on the thickness sander and we'll probably put at the very least a veneer on this or maybe even like an eighth inch top and then recontour everything. Um, like I say, Mac wants to um, paint this body, uh, that kind of classic white. But when he looks at it, he might go, you know what? It's good enough to, uh, you can see here, the, uh, the difference in the red that was under the pit guard and the, the stuff under the body. It's very, very different. So, um, guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Remember, this is, uh, we, we 
took some shortcuts here that you would not necessarily take if you were doing a full-on restoration because this is a resto mod um, we can get away with it um, if you like the video give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the little bell if you want to make sure that you don't miss any episodes if you like content like this you might want to go over to our patreon page and consider becoming a member even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you cool stuff like this but if you can't do patreon we totally understand um, Above and beyond that, though, if you share this video every place you possibly can, that helps us out a lot and helps us grow the channel. So, until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. I don't